everybody welcome back to my channel my name is jessica and in today's video we have another goodwill bins thrift haul so i am a reseller on a multitude of different platforms uh, primarily poshmark and i am branching over to ebay and mercari um, but basically the goodwill bins is pretty much the primary way that i source all of my inventory um, so today i'm going to be showing you what i picked up from the goodwill bins this morning to resell online <music> So in this video, I'm gonna do it a little bit differently than how I've done it in the past. Um, in the past, I pretty much just show it and maybe give like an idea about how much I would sell it for. Uh, this time I had gone through each and every item and written a little bit down about what I think uh, realistically what I could get for it. Um, so if you see me kind of looking at like a piece of paper, that's what I'm doing. Um, but I will say that everything that I found today was pretty much exactly 30 pounds. So I paid about $50 for it. Um, it is getting darker outside, so I have some lights that I can switch on if it gets too dark, but I think we'll be okay. So, yes. So, um, honestly, I think that today's bins trip was probably one of the best bins trips I've had in a long time. Uh, today is actually well below, I think when I woke up this morning, it was around 13 degrees, which for Texas, like, we, we don't really see that that often. So I thought, I was like, you know what, let me go ahead and go down to the bins. Um, it's very unlikely there was going to be a lot of people there, and I was totally right. It was pretty much empty in there. Uh, everybody just decided to stay home, so I found some really great pieces. So yeah, I'm so excited to show you. Um, let's start with a couple things that are not strictly clothing. Uh, the first one is this gorgeous like woven it's like a straw woven bag it's kind of like a rainbow and it's got this little loop like handle loop at the top and it just opens up like that inside so for this one uh there was a comp on poshmark for about 40 dollars. i think it was 40 dollars exactly um i would probably list this one maybe in that range 40 45 um but i would probably accept anywhere because it's so light as well i'd probably accept like in the 30s for sure but super happy. It's so vibrant. It's like a straw, very like boho. Um, I don't know if this is handmade, but definitely looks like it. So, so the next like non clothing item is actually another kind of like woven purse. This one is kind of like a straw, um, like circular woven pattern. It's got a clip up top. It's got fabric inside. I don't think, let me see if I had a I did have a comp for this one. So this one had sold, actually I do remember, sold multiple times for in the 20 to 25 range. Uh, this one does not have a brand on it, but I think it's just one of those things that like different various brands will pick it up, pick it up from the same manufacturer. Um, so I think they were saying like Urban Outfitters, a couple of those type stores had this, but super cute, long strap, so it would be crossbody. But I'm happy with that. I'll probably list this one for 25 and hope for the best. All right, moving on, we have another, this is technically clothing. I don't know if I would really consider this clothing, but these are hunter boot uh, socks. So if you have hunter boots, um, a lot of people actually buy these little inserts that go inside. They're like sock inserts. Um, these ones, I saw these ones. I think people were selling them anywhere from 15 to 20. There were a couple comps in that range as well. So, I mean, considering how light these are and they're also in excellent condition, I went ahead and picked these up as well. All right, uh, moving on to clothing. The first one here is not super exciting. Um, I actually have one of these. I actually own one of these dresses and I have one of them listed in my Poshmark closet right now. Um, it is sold in a Stitch Fix box. It's the brand Kaylee. So this is just a kind of like a faux wrap blue floral dress. Um, it's kind of like a fit and flare type of like vibe. Um, this is a size extra extra large because I only listed the other one that I have about a week or so ago um, So I saw this and I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna go ahead and pick it up because the listings all done. I just need to copy that listing um, and add the new size in but Lovely that one's an easy one um, Let me see make sure I'm doing all these right. Okay, so the next um, is next thing is the brand cabbie it is these green sort of like trouser pants and it's got these oversized front pockets 
So this one, there were quite a few of these listed, um, and those the of the comps, it looks like it had sold very consistently for about $35 to $40. Although there were a few already listed, I did not see any in plus sizes. So this is a size 16. The largest size I saw on Poshmark was a size 12. So very happy to pick this up. These are in excellent condition. So what I'll probably do with these guys is list them maybe like 38 to 42 because it is the only one of this size. Um, but obviously with my Poshmark, I do send out offers. I send anywhere from like 15 to 20% off offers five minutes after a buyer has liked an item. Um, so for me, I use Poshmark VA to do that. Um, it's really honestly like changed the way that I run my business. I really love Pasha VA. I do have, I mean, this is like not sponsored or anything, but I do have an affiliate code um, that you can get. I believe it's 20% off your first month if you use my code that is down in the description box. Uh, if you don't use any sort of like share or offer sender, I would definitely recommend you try it out because it is totally changed my Poshmark business for sure. So next up, I'm actually really excited about these ones. These are a pair of Levi's. I'm Levi's shorts. I'm honestly not sure if these are vintage. I don't, I don't want to think they are vintage, but they do have an orange tab. Oop, wrong side. They do have an orange tab, which you don't see that often. And these ones also have these really cool side zipper details. So, so on Poshmark right now, there is one listed for $65, but it looked like this exact style had sold, sold a few times for around $35. So I'll probably list it in that, you know, $38, $42 mark um, and hope that it sells for around $35. So but these are super cute shirts. Hopefully my camera is in focus. I did get a new camera, so I'm hoping that it is uh, doing well. <laughs> so, um, okay. So next up here, um, this is a J. Crew size eight dress. It's kind of, I believe it's like a shift dress, um, but it is this polka dot and it's actually a really nice, um, it's not like burlap, but um, it's got this like weave that almost looks a little bit like burlap, but super cool. Um, this one, it is an older style, um, the J. Crew dress. Um, it looks like there had been some comps that had sold from 25 up to 65, but it looks like most of them were falling in the 35 mark. Um, so what I'll probably do, list it maybe 38 to 42 again, hope for around 35. But this is also in really excellent condition. Uh, for being an older piece, I think it, this, this piece says, I think it said 2013 on it, uh, but it seems to be like there's a lot of them going around right now. All right. Okay. So this one was a total surprise to me. I saw this as a, I'm really hoping my camera's in focus because honestly, it doesn't really look like it is, but honestly, I'm also not wearing my glasses right now. So even if it was, I wouldn't be able to tell. <laughs> okay. So, uh, this one was a total surprise to me. I was not expecting this one. You know what? It does look like it's out of focus. Hold on. Okay, I think we're good. I think it's in focus. I think I'm just blinded. Okay. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay. So this one was a total surprise to me. I was not expecting this one to go for that much. It was actually somebody's throwback. So like a lot of times at the bins, uh, people will grab stuff and take it off to the side to either Google it or just check for flaws. And a lot of times things are thrown back. I always have really good luck looking through those throwbacks because some people maybe aren't familiar about a brand um, or, you know, I'm not sure what it is for whatever reason they throw it back maybe they're not resellers maybe they're just looking for themselves and they ended up not wanting the item um, but I saw this it is a Disneyland uh, like acid wash long sleeve shirt um, it does say on the side it says spirit jersey uh, it's a size medium uh, but this one I was very surprised about so um, comps were anywhere from 35 to the highest I saw was 72. Most of them, I would say like 75% of the comps were in the 45 to 55 range. So what I might do is list it for around 55, maybe even 60. Um, I'm not sure what it is about this particular long sleeve that makes it worth so much. Um, I wouldn't really distinguish this from anything else that you would see at like Disneyland or Disney World, but, um, here we are. We're going to list it and see what happens. Um, next up, this is a brand 
So I used to pick up Lucky Brand a lot. Um, I really don't pick it up hardly at all anymore unless it's like a really new style um, or something that's like a very significant piece. But I did go ahead and pick this up. Um, it's almost like, it's like a cotton, but it's like a thicker, like really soft cotton uh, button down. Is this a men's or a women's? I think it's a woman's. I, I know there's like a certain size that the buttons go on. I really don't even remember. Uh, size extra large. Uh, this is the certain... Lucky Brand has had so many different tags over the years, but this is this tag. Um, yeah, I don't think I looked up this one. I couldn't find this exact um, one, but here we are. I'll probably list this maybe 28, 28 to 32 um, and go from there. But it's really nice, honestly, especially now with the uh, sort of like shacket style is like very much in style right now. Um, so I would probably um, kind of market it, put keywords like shacket, um, like casual, comfy casual, uh, layering, it'd be a perfect piece for layering. Uh, those are all sort of keywords that I would use on that. Next piece, oh, sorry. That's what I get for putting my bag underneath the camera, okay. Um, next piece. So I do not pick up swimwear swimwear that often, uh, especially if it's not like new with tags. I really don't love picking up things that are not new with tags. But this was super cute, and I'm fairly positive that's new. Um, this is the brand M A A J I. There it is. Will you be able to see it? Maybe, maybe not. M A A J I, um, and it is a reversible bikini top and bikini bottom. Looks like this, you can reverse it. Um, the reason I pick this up is because it has a fairly prominent tag sticking out of the, the seam here. Um, I think it's very unlikely that these were actually really worn, at least for an extended period of time, without somebody cutting off this tag. Because this is one of those tags that you're meant to cut off when you wear it. Because um, I mean, it's bright orange and it's like right there on the seam. So. Regardless, we have the bottoms, and then we have a matching top, which is all sorts of, is this right? Yeah, all sorts of like strappy. This one's also reversible, just a plain bikini top, just like that. Um, these ones actually seem to go for quite a lot. Um, sets from this brand uh, looked like they were comping around $50. So I'll probably list it around maybe $50, $55. Um, I'll look up this exact print. Um, it's possible that this exact print could go for less, but for now that's what I'm planning. And moving on, this was another really fun piece that honestly when I first saw it I did think that it was Johnny Was. I got really excited. I was like no way. Like today's a great day. But it is not Johnny Was, um, although it very much looks like it. Uh, the brand is called Paparazzi by Biz by B I Z. I'll show you. There it is, Paparazzi by B I Z. And it is this long sort of like cotton denim coat it's a very light cream and then it has so much embroidery floral embroidery on here it's kind of like a tan embroidery um but super nice coat will definitely need a steam on this guy but um this seemed to have very different comps and i think it's almost the same as johnny was like where it's like the more embroidery the better um, but this one seemed to, I saw comps that ranged for similar like long jackets like this, uh, anywhere from $40 to $120. And I think that really has to do with like what color is it, how much embroidery that does it have, uh, that sort of thing. So I'm not really sure what I would list this at. Um, I could always just list high and see how it goes. Um, but obviously, even if it went for the low end, what did I say? <sighs> What did I say? Oh, what of oh, $40. Even if it sold for the low end of $40, I would still be really happy with this, um, considering that it's from the Benz. So, lovely, lovely. All right, so next up is a pair of American Evil, American Evil, oh my gosh, American Evil, okay. American Eagle, oh my, American Evil, what in the world? American Eagle, uh, these are the Kirby Mom Jeans in a size, where is the size? I saw it on here earlier. In a size eight, eight short. Okay, so they are a bit short. 
Um, these are just a curvy denim. There is a little bit of distressing um, like on the back hem and not kind of on the front right here. Um, but these ones I believe uh, were going anywhere from like 20 to 30. Um, I don't always pick up American Eagle, but things like mom jeans, uh, straight fit, um, anything that's really not like a skinny, uh, it's got a high rise that's really good. Um, I'm really avoiding things that are like mid rise. Um, I'm avoiding skinny jeans. I'm avoiding um, white denim or colored denim. Um, that's the kind of things that I avoid, um, but something like this, denim, it's got a little bit of distressing, not too much, curvy style, mom jean, size 8, everything great. Yeah, those will probably get listed for around 28. Alright, next up, another kind of surprise piece, I'm trying to find where I wrote, hello, oh, okay, there we go. Okay, so this one, this one here was another sort of like surprise piece, but this is a Hager. There it is. I do like this brand, although I very rarely pick it up unless it's like a more substantial piece. But this is a lovely men's golf sweater. Um, it does kind of have like the cable knit stitching down it. Um, really cute, honestly. I believe it's vintage. I might have to double check some comps on there. Um, but it's a size large. Uh, this one I've sold on eBay a few times for around $35. So I'll probably list it around there. Um, but overall, super cute and I love, someone will definitely love this piece for sure. Next up, so this one, um, I actually found this in a very picked over bin. I was very surprised that it was just like hanging out in there, but um, this is a pair of bird dogs where is it literally right here pair of bird dogs um these are their boom for your boomstick um i believe that they're they feel kind of like swim shorts but when i looked at them online they were kind of marketed as like more athletic shorts um but men's athletic shorts size large uh so these ones retailed for let me see so these ones retail for about 60 dollars although um I was thinking about listing them for around 35 to 40 but for whatever reason there were like 10 plus comps that had sold for 45 to 55 used so i'll probably list them maybe around 50 maybe even 55 because um, these are really in excellent condition they've got all the little like zips at the back but super cute someone's gonna love these and they're in great condition as well all right, next up is a We the Free by Free People skirt. Um, I will say that a lot of like Free People items, like We the Free, um, all their little like brands that they have under Free People, they really don't do as well as they used to do. Um, honestly, the, the market, like Poshmark, eBay, everywhere, is just like really saturated for Free People. Um, so, but you know, from the bins, I will definitely still pick up. Uh, things like this. Um, I did see that especially on the comps for the skirts, the skirts that had the buttons down the front did seem to do a little bit better. Uh, comps were I think closer to $30 versus skirts that were just like a zip and a button were closer to $20. Um, but super cute. It's got some distressing. Um, I'll probably list it around that $30 mark, uh, maybe $28 to $30 um, and we'll see. All right, so this one, this piece is definitely more of an experimental piece. Um, I do like the brand Cabby, although it's very like hit or miss for me, honestly. Um, I think I said that earlier with the other shorts that I found, but this is Cabby, size small. Um, this sort of like neon, yellowy, greeny, not like the best color ever, but <laughs> uh, this like shirt, it's got the ruffles, it's like semi-sheer. Um, I don't know if I had comps for this one cabbie i think no i do have comps for this one so this one um there were some comps ranging from 13 dollars to 35 dollars. so that's pretty like that's a pretty large range for this um if i could get like 20 dollars for the, this i would be super happy with that um but yeah it's not a terrible piece it's just i think it's really the color that uh throws it off a bit but some people really like this so we will get that listed um okay so I'm gonna pick some of the better items. I found quite a few like designer pieces, pieces that I can sell for probably well over $100. So um, let's do one of those. Those are fun. When I say this is like the best bins trip that I've had in a while, like I totally mean it because 
I don't know what it is. Somebody just donated like all their really expensive stuff. So this is a Solani silk Georgette um, dress. I believe this one is silk. I have a few dresses. I think this one is also silk. Um, but this is a floral ruffled mini dress. You've got, I believe these are elbow sleeves. Um, super, super pretty. So the only thing about this dress is that it is missing the belt. I probably spent a good hour searching up and down for the belt for this dress. Unfortunately, I could not find it. Um, but honestly, that wouldn't, you know, I wouldn't leave a dress behind because of that, especially not one from this brand. Um, so mo a lot of the dresses from this brand um, are selling for well over $100, some of them even more. Uh, because this one is missing the belt, it probably could drop into like the 70s to 80s. Um, but I had seen some, one of them had like, one that was very similar to this, had like a big like hole, had like a big hole in the side seam and it had still sold for like $70. So I don't think missing a belt is really like a deal breaker for this type of dress. Um, especially since some of these Solani dresses can sell for like 200 plus dollars. So super happy with this guy. I'm going to get it photographed and listed. And okay, so this is something I have never found anything like this. Um, so if you know anything about the brand Fendi, especially like vintage Fendi, um, please like take a close look and tell me what you think because I found this and I know Fendi can be expensive. Um, but I cannot find any sort of comps on this and half of me is like, is this fake? Is this even real? Obviously, I wouldn't want to list anything that even has the possibility of being fake, but I did bring it home to research a little bit. But it is a Fendi shirt and it's got these like faux pearl buttons on the front, just like that. It's kind of like an orangey cream color and the tag, from what I can tell, it is a vintage tag. From some of the comps that i've seen um, i have seen this tag on a lot of different comps i just have not seen this exact shirt ever so is this real i don't know i'm definitely gonna have to do some more research before i even think about listing it but i mean super cool find anyway if it is real did i write it down i don't know if it is real it will definitely get over 50 dollars for sure maybe even double that um, I saw quite a few like really plain like white Fendi shirts that were like a hundred plus dollars that sold for a hundred plus dollars so we'll see this one's definitely like a questionable find but I did pick it up you know it's so light anyway okay next up uh, soft surroundings so soft surroundings is probably one of my favorite brands to sell this is a size large um, it's kind of like a gauzy crepe crepe that's not the right word just gauzy gauzy material it's a tunic um it's got long sleeves i believe they're like button sleeves yeah button sleeves super cute piece so this one did i write this down soft surround gauzy okay so this one i think um i would have listed this for around 28 to 32 although this one does have a little bit more wash wear um, not enough for me to leave it behind, but I wouldn't say that this is really like excellent condition. So I may list it anywhere from like 25, 28 and see. All right, next up, I think this was one of my only sort of like style only pickups um, because the brand, it's just a vintage brand. Uh, it's called LA Intimates. Let's see, focus, focus, focus. There we go, LA Intimates. It is this kind of like a lilac purple sheer, um, kind of like a, um, I don't know if I would say like Nike, like chemis, chemis, chemis. It's basically like kind of pajamas, but it's completely sheer, um, almost like a little like uh, pajama dress. Honestly, it's so cute. And the, the flowers are like a little bit like shimmery as well. So it looks really pretty. Um, this one, I don't really know how much I would list this for. Um, I could kind of like go crazy because it's like a vintage piece and I've seen people list them like 50 plus dollars. I don't know if I would do that for this piece. I don't think it's that substantial, but I'll take a look, see if I can find any comps, but really pretty. Honestly, I don't hate it. Next up. Okay. So this was a gap piece and this is a size large from gap it is this kind of like a mini dress but it's got these like ruffles at the bottom um what is this called adjustable sleeves adjustable straps there we go 
a really cool kind of like blue floral pattern. This had actually sold a few times in the 28 to 32 mark. Um, I am seeing, I don't know. I feel like I just saw a stain right here. Okay, I'll have to check. I don't know, right there. I don't know if you can see that. Okay, I'll have to check that under the lights. Um, but super cute, honestly. And it's like a cotton as well. It is a size large, although this like I'm a size large and I feel like this is a very large large so I don't really know I don't know my dudes but lovely I'll probably just measure this one just because the sizing doesn't really seem to match uh, very well but I'll give this a measure and get it listed probably in that $28 mark next another fun find I did not even look up comps for this I don't know why I just realizing that I didn't but this is a pair of Lululemon shorts. They are kind of like a burgundy color. Super cute. They've got the zip on the side right here. They are a size, hello? They are a size six. So lovely size, looks great. They kind of, to me, they kind of look like the hottie hot shorts. I don't know. Okay, another fun pickup. This guy, he looks a bit rough. <laughs> I'll be honest and say it looks a bit rough, although I did look at the comps and some of the comps look a bit rough too, so maybe it's the style. Uh, but this is a Z Zadig and Voltaire. Let's see if we will focus up here. Here we go, lovely. Um, honestly, the, so it kind of feels a little bit like silk, um, although the if I look at the material tag, I think it said it was like polyester, so I was very confused. Um, but it could be actually silk long sleeve dress it's got a really nice floral print at the front and totally black down the bottom it does have a waist tie although one of the little like things is broken but i'm not too worried about that because the waist tie is included um yeah so the comps for this one let me see so comps were ranging anywhere from 45 to 150 so i believe the 45 dollar one was did not have the belt so because i have the belt um, I need to try and figure out, is this actually like okay condition? Um, I would say like good pre-owned or is it like great pre-owned? That's kind of what I need to distinguish between. Uh, but otherwise, Zadig and Voltaire dress, possibly silk, possibly polyester. You'd have to find out. Um, really pretty, honestly. Yeah. So we will uh, do a little bit more, uh, probably give it a steam and kind of see how it looks, how it photographs and go from there. Okay, so this so this is probably my best find of the whole bins trip. This skirt should pay above and beyond for everything that I found here. And it is another Zadig, I don't know if I'm even saying this right, Zadig and Voltaire skirt. This one does have an old Goodwill tag on it, but obviously at the bins, let's see if that will focus. Okay, so Zadig and Voltaire. So this one does have an old, they obviously tried to sell this in Goodwill stores at one point. Uh, they wanted $11.99 for it. Um, I'm surprised that nobody bought this from a regular Goodwill because if you look up comps, a used one will sell anywhere from $150 up to $450. So that's a huge gap. If I got $150 for this, I would be so excited. But it looks, it also looks a bit rough. That's why I'm not sure if it's the brand. The skirt itself looks like very wrinkly. It's like a leather skirt. It's got a high low hem, elastic waist. Um, it looks a bit rough. Honestly, it's kind of like really wrinkled. Um, and I was like, ooh, like the skirt looks like, ooh, I don't know. But then I looked at the comps and all of the comps, like the stock photos look like a very wrinkled leather. So it's obviously just the way that it's sold. It's obviously like a, a style that people may choose to buy but I think there is a style name in here somewhere. It is the Joslyn, I don't even know that word it is, C-U-I-R skirt. I'm just gonna show you. Joslyn, C-U-I-R skirt. Will it focus? Yes, it will. There we go. So that is the skirt. Um, so super ranging comps on this, but even if I sold it for $150 or even $100, honestly, I'd be so happy. So super fun. It's a leather. It kind of, 
to me it kind of felt like a faux leather but it is like real leather um it's just like a thin leather and it even has kind of like this raw hem on it as well so super interesting piece i'm obviously not very familiar with uh designers like this um, but i did see the tag and i was like i know that's a good one so i did pick it up i did find the um this Zadig one, Zadig, I could be saying that totally wrong, and then the Solani one right next to each other, so I'm assuming it's the same person, um, and then I'm also assuming that this is probably from the same person as well, it just got separated somewhere in the bins, uh, so someone obviously decided to give all of their like designer stuff away. Um, next up, so this is also a brand that I love selling, and that is Cool, C, oh, sorry, C, k-u-h-l cool it looks like that um so i actually found two these are women's they are capris but they're like um cargo capris so i've sold quite a few things from this brand um they do sell really quickly i would consider them to be a bolo for sure um, but i found two i'm pretty positive they're the exact same pants just in different colors but i'll go back and check like actual styles if there's actually style numbers inside of these pants uh, but these ones seem to sell where oh these ones uh, seem to sell pretty consistently for 30 to 35 dollars so I am kind of considering maybe putting these together as like a bundle because they're the same size and the same uh, style but I might not honestly there's a possibility that I could get more if I separate them but yeah just classic woman's uh cool i don't actually think i've ever sold um a woman's piece from this brand i know i've sold like a men's long sleeve a couple of men's pants but i don't think i've ever seen women's pants so hopefully the women's ones sell as fast as the men's one but we will see for sure next up this guy could definitely use a steam not gonna lie um it is lauren ralph lauren size medium it is a white button down and you're like Jessica what are you doing white button down look at this how pretty is this embroidery it's like a peacock peacock yeah <laughs> peacock embroidery um super pretty honestly the white is like a little um it is a little thin because you can kind of see the embroidery if you like hold it up you can kind of see like a shadow of it but when you're wearing it obviously it's fine um, I do not normally pick up Lauren Ralph Lauren. I will pick it up if it's like a very like substantial piece. Um, but I've seen so many like, like just like plain tops or plain bosses. I really don't bother with that. Um, but something like this, you know, such like intricate embroidery on it. Um, I did go ahead and pick it up. I don't think I had any comps listed for this one. Yeah. Um, but honestly, so fun super cute i'm not expecting to have any problem selling that one i would probably list it maybe like 28 to 32 um but realistically i might only get like 25 for it but i'm happy with that um not a waste at all okay we are moving into the last four ish pieces next is a free people we the free tank uh, this kind of goes with what i was saying earlier about not picking up um, or like with the free stuff being or free people stuff in general being very saturated uh, This for sure. Honestly, I picked this up because it's so light and it was like pressed. It almost looks like Brand new, you know, obviously I don't know it's brand new But it's like still like kind of creased at the sides and either somebody like straight ironed this or it's like brand new so um, It is also a size small But super cute honestly kind of like a classic free people white tank Somebody will love it next up this one i was hoping when i picked this up i was hoping this one was going to go for a little bit more it is a trina turk trina sorry it's a trina by trina turk um kind of knit dress and at first i was kind of confused because this is the front and i believe this is the back but it's possible it could be reversible it's just because the tag is like on the v-neck that kind of confused me but uh, super cute. I did look up comps for this one. Wasn't going for as high as I was hoping. It looked like 25 to 32. Um, but I don't hate it. You know, it's super cute. It looks in excellent condition as well. It's got like this little elastic waist. Um, yeah, super fun colors as well. Um, I'm happy with that. And this is also in like excellent condition. So, all right, next up, this is a new with tags. 100% cashmere uh, the brand is Privé. I have sold cashmere from this brand before. It's obviously not the most high-end cashmere 
pull this focus there we go it's not the most high-end cashmere ever uh, but this is new attacks and it did retail for 189 dollars originally and this one was sold at a sale price of 89 dollars uh, but it's kind of this i believe it's called pointel knit when you have this like open knit cashmere it's not quite white um it's more of like an ivory cream color but it's a cardigan i don't know if i even said that it's like a cute little like sweater cardigan super cute honestly if i knew how to like style pieces like this i would definitely wear that it's so soft as well so all right is this the last piece yeah okay so this is the very last piece uh this is an item or a brand that i really rarely pick up unless it's a really substantial piece and that is lane bryant so this is a, a lane bryant size 22 uh, shirt dress it's got a button front uh, it's got long sleeves um i wasn't going to pick this up honestly but you know it is a little bit more of a substantial piece uh comps for, I didn't even write them down i have lane bryant and i didn't write it down if i remember correctly i think it was like 30 to 40. um i think it was sold for originally 89 dollars and then it was kind of clearanced out at like 65 dollars um but it's no longer sold on the website although it is a 2021 piece so relatively new uh super cute excellent condition um yeah you know if i could get 25 to 30 for this i would be really happy but um, i'll probably maybe aim for like 35 to 38 that's probably what i'll go for so lovely i feel like it's showing up like super vibrant on the camera i don't think it's really that bright but that's okay and i think i think that is it i don't think i've been filming for this long i think you know talking about numbers for every single peach peach oh my gosh i think talking for numbers for every single piece um does make this video a little bit longer but i kind of like it you know i think it helps um to like inform me as well about the things that i'm picking up but i also help i also hope that it helps you um know a little bit more about these brands or maybe like uh give you in some insight as to what i pick up and the numbers behind why i pick things up all right so i do have some other really fun videos in kind of like the woodworks um they're more like vlog style videos so i just have to compile a lot of footage uh but i am on winter break what is today the 23rd it's almost christmas you guys it's like the 23rd um now so i am off of school i did finish all of my finals so i am have a little bit of a break i think i go back to school like we go back early it's like january 9th or something i go back to school so yeah my final semester of my senior year i'm so excited to be done with college <laughs> so um otherwise i really hope you like this video and be sure to give it a thumbs up as always there is a bunch of links uh, to things that i use pretty much every single day for my reselling business it is all in the description box uh but if you have any questions be sure to let me know down below let me know i literally cannot speak okay uh if you have any questions be sure to let me know down below and i'll see you in my next video bye